It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to talk about fractional ratios in cooking. Here's our question today. A recipe requires only blueberries and strawberries. The list shows the amounts required for one-fourth of the whole recipe. Here's the recipe. One half cup blueberries, two-fifths of a cup of strawberries. And again, this list shows the amounts required for one-fourth of the whole recipe. This is one-fourth. You're asked, what is the number of cups of blueberries and the number of cups of strawberries required for the whole recipe? And you're given four answer choices. So I'm going to have you pause the video now, show your work on your paper, select your answer, and then come back and hit play to see the solution. Welcome back. So we have a recipe that has blueberries and strawberries, and then we have a list right here that shows one-fourth of the whole recipe. And we're asked right here, so one-fourth, one-half cup blueberries, two-fifths cup strawberries, and we want to find a whole recipe. So one-fourth is this. So let's make what you could call a table or a tape diagram. And I have two ingredients. I have blueberries and I have strawberries, and this represents one-fourth. So we can see that we have the whole, we have our blueberries, our strawberries, and then one fourth, and then all the fourths, right? One, two, three, four, and here's what we've been given. So let's put in our value. We know that our blueberries is a half a cup for one fourth of the recipe, and then we have two fifths cup of strawberries. So this is one fourth of the recipe we need to fill in the other three-fourths to make a whole. So let's go ahead and do that. One half, one half, one half. So now these are four-fourths to make a whole. So now if we add these all up, one half plus one half plus one half plus one half, they all have a common denominator of two. We add the numerators, which is four. We are gonna have that equal to four halves. Four halves can be simplified to two. Four divided by two is two. Remember that fraction bar is also a division symbol. Four divided by two is two. So we know that for one fourth of the recipe, it's a half a cup of blueberries, but for the whole recipe, it's two cups of blueberries. Let's look at our answer choices. We can see that A is incorrect because they said one eighth of a cup. B is incorrect because it said one eighth of a cup. And C and D both say two cups of blueberries. So we know that it's either C or D. Let's go figure out how much strawberries we need to have a whole recipe. So one fourth of the recipe is two fifths of a cup. So we're gonna put three more two fifths of a cup to have all the whole recipe. So we're gonna have four fourths. So when we add these all up, we have a common denominator of five. So that is going to, now we're just adding the numerators, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 8. So we're going to say that this is equal to 8 fifths for the entire recipe. 2 fifths for 1 fourth of the recipe. To make an entire recipe, we're going to need 8 fifths. We can rewrite this as a mixed number. 5 goes into 8 once with 3 left over. So 1 and 3 fifths is equivalent to 8 fifths. So let's go look at our C and D answer choices. So C says one tenth of a cup. D is, here's our two cups of blueberries and our one and three fifth cup of strawberries. So we can say that our answer choice here is D to make the whole recipe. And that's fractional ratios in cooking. Don't forget to show your work and draw a picture. That's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.